Hello, I'm Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Force of Light Entertainment, and we are back for another first time watching reaction. Today we're going to be watching a movie, a very famous movie in pop culture, especially over the last 20 years. I've heard. That uh, Natalie has never seen. And no. that that is Marvel's Iron Man, the 2008, the first movie that started it all off. Uh I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this was before Disney owned Marvel and uh, John Favreau directed this movie. It's still one of people's favorites in the MCU. And I think it's up there for me. I think my personal favorite MCU movie is still Captain America Winter Soldier. But that's a good one. That, see, Natalie's seen that one. That one was yeah. a good one. But you've never seen any of the Iron Mans. I have not. But yet Tony Stark was always like your favorite Avenger. It's, this is true. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Natalie's going to get to watch. So it probably makes sense I should watch Iron Man. You know, why not? Yeah, why not? Uh, this one, again, started it off back in the back in 2008. So, and it was kind of uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s comeback. Uh, and he is an excellent actor. So. He is, truly. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get started in just a second. But before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed and you like reaction videos, you like movie reviews, uh, pop culture talk, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also give the video a thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up button. It helps the channel. But let's go ahead and get started with the movie that started it all, that somehow Natalie has never seen there's quite a few M have. there's actually quite a few mcu movies you've never seen we can we can find a few more of those if you guys like this one because there there are quite a few I because you've seen. never seen any of the thors yeah. any of the yeah so but you have seen all the avengers all the different avenger movies that's true so i kind of liked those some of them yeah well one of them in particular in game or yeah it i think you really love the first one i think it was the first one yeah, yeah you really enjoyed the first one the most i think but um yeah so let's go ahead and get started and see what natalie thinks i will say this i don't think i've personally watched this movie probably in at least 10 years i would say it's it's been a while um I do not believe I saw this in theaters. I think I rented it at home for the first time. And then I did see the second one in theaters and did not see the third one in theaters, but I did see it. But it's been about 10 years or so for me to see this. So we'll see what I feel about it as well. But let's get started. I feel like you're gonna pull over and snuff me. What, you're not allowed to talk? We can talk, sir. So it's personal? No, you intimidate them. Good God, you're a woman. <laughs> Well, you have actually excellent bone structure there. I'm kind of having a hard time not looking at you now. Is that weird? <laughs> Come on, it's okay. Can't nobody take a picture with you? Yes. I don't want to see this under MySpace, bitch. Please, no gang signs. MySpace, man. I'll no, throw it up. I'm kidding. Yeah, peace. You got a job with peace. Just like it. Don't change the settings. Oh. Oh. oh gosh. I wasn't expecting the Marvel movie to be that aggressive right off the bat. Well, but again, it's it's pre-Disney. It's true. I kind of enjoy it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Mm -mm. It adds realism. Stark, one of his own missiles. <laughs> Howard Stark's lifelong friend and ally, Obadiah Stane, steps in to help fill the gap. I feel like three different people have played his father, by the way. <laughs> the prodigal son returns and is anointed the new CEO. The new kid. The new kid. <laughs> Today, Tony Stark has changed the face of the weapons industry. <laughs> I like that picture. <laughs> he is my friend and he is my great mentor. Ladies and gentlemen, I actually preferred Terrence Howard, Howard in this role than the, uh, what's his name, the guy who replaced him. Tell me. <laughs> He's always working. <laughs> You've been called the Da Vinci of our time. What do you do that? Absolutely ridiculous. I don't paint. The merchant of death. That's not bad. 
I guarantee you the day weapons are no longer needed to keep the peace, I'll start making bricks and beans for Baby Hospital. My father helped defeat the Nazis. He worked on the Manhattan Project. A lot of people, including your professors at Brown, will call that being a hero. You ever lose Nazis if you want that? Eric will lose a few with you. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. Tony. <laughs> oh, Tony. <laughs> Wow. It's quite the laugh. There's a car waiting for you outside that will take you anywhere you'd like to go. After all these years, Tony still has you picking up the dry cleaning. I do anything and everything that Mr. Stark requires, including occasionally taking out the trash. Would that be all? Compression in cylinder three is to be low. Do you recognize the voice? No. What is, what is it's a uh, it's vision, but it's a uh, Paul Bettany. Oh, okay. Uh, he's he's Jarvis. Gotcha. Why are you trying to hustle me out? Who eventually becomes Vision somehow. Interesting. I'm allowed to have plans on my birthday. It's your birthday. Already? Yeah, isn't that strange? It's the same day as last year. Come on, get yourself something nice for me. I already did. Thank you, Mr. Stark. You're welcome, Mr. Potts. What's wrong with you? What? Three hours. I got caught doing a piece for Vanity Fair. Uh, so, I'm mad. I told you I'm not mad. I'm, I'm indifferent, okay? I yeah, miss your babysitter. And so, you know, we need your diaper change. Thank you. We're not drinking. We're working right now. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just can't be in case I won't take the settlement. And I need heat to end it. Tony's very much like the Bruce Wayne of Marvel. <laughs> Yeah, like, ladies' man, playboy, cool like guy. yeah, all this filthy rich. Is it better to be feared or respected? Is it too much to ask for both? <laughs> Let one of these off the chain, and I personally guarantee you, bad guys won't even want to come out of their caves. Oh, the Jericho. <laughs> it's quite the uh, presentation. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be funny, right? <laughs> I think so. And it further gets ridiculous. Oh, Tony. Hey, Tony. I'm sorry. This is the fun V. <laughs> nice job. Let's get back to this. Oh. Yeah! Are they turning him into Iron Man? Yeah. Well, I think I think his heart got hit in, by the scrap metal from the bomb the oh. explosion. Because, you know, he has that, like, fake heart. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, Tony. Oh, no. no, oh, I gosh. Not stuff coming out of the nose. What is this? That is an electromagnet hooked up to a car battery, and it's keeping the shrapnel from entering your heart. Yeah, and then what's that? Where were you, Marhaba? It says, Welcome, Tony Stark, the most famous mass murderer. In the history of America. You're not honored. He's honored. I was like, I'm in He's honored, is that what he said? Yeah. I refuse. That's not fun. You know, St. the Stark industry. Yeah. Weaponry. They have everything you need to build the Jericho missile. I want you to make a list of materials. You're done. So they've like taken him as a slave now? Basically. What do we call you? My name is Jensen. This makes me think of all the different times in The Mandalorian. They're like making things <laughs> or... So John Favreau clearly enjoys that. That doesn't look like a Jericho missile. Just because it's a miniaturized arc reactor. But what could it generate? If my math is right, and it always is. Three good And it always <laughs> is. That could run your heart for 50 lifetimes. Or something big for 15 minutes. This is our ticket out of here. What is it? The bow and arrow once was the pinnacle of weapons technology. But today, whoever holds the latest Stark weapons rules these lands. And soon, it'll be my turn. Will it, though? Abiba, though. Abiba, though! Delivery date again. I need him. Consistent. That's what I'm saying. He, he, he did it. 
I love that this guy hiding out in the cave speaks perfect English. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing it with one arm like that? Doesn't look very- oh, he's holding it. How'd that work? Oh my goodness. You walk the way. I do. <laughs> Let me finish. You're coming! Nothing pretty. Just get it done. The checkpoints are clear before you follow me out, okay? We need more time. I'm gonna waste some time. Stick to the plan! Get shot! Don't just shoot wildly. He's trying shit. <laughs> well, I know, but shoot towards. <laughs> That's like a Han Solo move. <laughs> uh oh. The suit is so primitive in this one. I was gonna say, so the first edition is yeah. quite different. It's almost like a transformer, like yeah, <laughs> or like like a bigger version of RoboCop. Yeah. Oh, oh. That back that backfired. <laughs> Literally. Get up! Watch out! Really? You missed? Tony! He's still getting used to it. <laughs> or did he get him? We gotta go. Move with me. Come on, we got a plan. We're gonna stick to it. This was always the plan, Stock. My family's dead. I'm going to see them now, Stock. It's okay. Bless. Uh, he was, well, he was a really sweet character. That was like more genuine emotion than like almost all other Marvel movies. It's true. It's true because you like cared about that guy. They made you care about him. And yeah. then, I mean, it was kind of a sweet sacrifice and moment. Well, for both of them. Yeah, totally. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Favreau also likes fires that shoot from like the arm, doesn't he? You see that yes. in Mandalorian? <laughs> yes, Tony. <laughs> Now that is an explosion. <laughs> oh. Tony went out. Oh. 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 E. That's one way to, get, to break out. <laughs> well, that suit's toast. But it did it. It well, served it was, its purpose. <laughs> it was kind of a makeshift type of, type of suit. Run, Tony. If you don't have water, this would be tough to survive too long. Yes. How was the fun V? <laughs> How was the fun V? The fun vehicle? Oh, right. I want an American cheeseburger. <laughs> And the other that's not your best. It's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for a press conference. Hogan, what on drive. For? Cheeseburger first. <laughs> I'm Agent Phil Coulson with the Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division. We need to debrief Mr. Stark about the circumstances of his escape. I'll put something in the book, shall I? Thank you. <laughs> Agent Coulson. Hey, would it be all right if everyone sat down? A little less formal than. I saw young Americans killed by the very weapons I created to defend them and protect them. I came to realize that I have more to offer than just making things to blow up. And that is why I am shutting down the weapons manufacturers business. <laughs> <laughs> what we should take away from this is that Tony's back. And, uh, he's, he's like, ignore everything else. <laughs> reactor technology. 
That's a dead end, right? We haven't had a breakthrough in that in what, 30 years. That's what they say. Could you have a lousier poker face? Just tell me who told you. Never who told mind you? who told me. Right. Show me. <laughs> it works. Getting a little hamsy. <laughs> Dude survived. <laughs> Vengeance. You can see it in his eyes that are covered. <laughs> Could feel it. Two. One. Oh. 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 It's completely wrong. <laughs> in three, two, one. Okay. That would be fun. Okay, this is where I don't want to be. <laughs> Jarvis, you there? That's yourself, this uh H heads up display. Okay. <laughs> it's very intimidating. That would be menacing to come into contact with. Quite the test drive. <laughs> that is. It doesn't look super safe. No. <laughs> Good old Santa Monica Pier. Sir, there is a potentially fatal buildup of ice occurring. Oh, I have... E. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there he is. Stanley. I was wondering where he, when he would make an appearance. Agent Colson, we need to debrief you. How about the 24th at 7 p.m. at Stark Industries? You got it. You're absolutely right. You look fantastic. I didn't recognize you. What are you doing here? I, I, I always forget to wear deodorant and dance with everyone that I work with in the dress with no back. That's a really bad feeling if you can't remember if you put on deodorant. <laughs> it's not the best feeling. I'm a little air. Yes, I need some air. <laughs> it was totally weird. Totally harmless. It was totally not harmless, by the way. You're my boss and I'm dancing, you know, because it makes me look like wearing this ridiculous dress and then we were dancing like that and... Oh, yeah, she, she, she went for it. On. What is he doing? I would like a drink, please. Come on. I would like a very dry with olives, a lot of olives, like at least three olives. It's like clearly Tony's into her, but then yeah. he didn't go for it when she went for it. It's what's going on with him. And he'd already made moves. Is this what you call accountability? A town called Gomira. Heard of it? I didn't approve any shit. Well, your company did. Well, I'm not my company. You seen these pictures? What's going Tony, on with Tony, you can't oh. afford to be this naive. You know when I was naive before, if we're double dealing under the table, are we? Who do you think locked you out? I was the one who filed the injunction against you. Ooh. It's the only way I can protect you. I knew that guy was going to be a bad guy. <laughs> it was a creep. Villagers have been forced to take shelter in whatever creep lines they can find. <laughs> It's a lot of it's a lot of broken windows. <laughs> oh. Goodness. 
Tony arrived. That worked. You can see so much of Iron Man in uh, what John Favreau did with like even the Mandalorian weapons, the way their jet jetpacks work. Yeah, like, there's a there's a lot of Iron Man and and Mandalorian. That is true. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, I mean, just like those little missiles that so perfectly are yeah. like Mando's that he had in season one and two. Just does a slow walk away. <laughs> Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. <laughs> Compliments of Tony Stark. If you kill him when you were supposed to, you'd still have a face. He's dirty. Oh, this is how he did it. He has made a masterpiece of death. I will give you these designs as a gift, and in turn, I hope you repay me with the gift of iron soldiers. Don't worry, it only lasts for 15 minutes. That's the least of your problems. Rid of the armor and the rest of it. All right, let's finish up here. As you can see, Mr. Einstein, your deception and lies will cost you dear. So. I think my face would just totally give it away in that moment. <laughs> I know. I'd be like sweating. <laughs> so happy when he came home that was like we got him back from the dead tell me never really did come home did he breaks my heart he's like he's not the wild irresponsible man he was before it breaks my heart <laughs> get back there is that today's paper what about puzzle of course take care of He's like, bye bye now. <laughs> Did you forget about our appointment? No, right now. Come with me. Right We're gonna have it right now. Yep. <laughs> Tony? You remember this one, right? Thing is pretty brutal. It's a shame that yeah. Got there's so many applications for causing short-term paralysis. When I uh, ordered the hit on you, killing the cold goose it was just fate that you survived that. You had one last golden egg to give. This is your legacy. A new generation of weapons with this at its heart. Too bad you had to involve peppering this. Dang. Not, not the pep. I know she doesn't <laughs> die because of the adventure movies. <laughs> Nellie's like, does Tony make it? <laughs> Crawl, Tony. I mean, he's gonna be in dead place. <laughs> he doesn't get that heart soon. And thank goodness she saved it. Jarvis for the rescue. Actually, that's not Jarvis. Jarvis is the computer system. Tony! Tony! <laughs> She's fine. She's with five agents. They're about to arrest over that. That's not gonna be enough. You need me to do anything else? Keep the skies clear. Next time, baby. <laughs>
I was building a suit. I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> was, was that supposed to be funny? <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely asking. It was not. But maybe they did write it that way. I don't know. Surely. For 13 year old minds to pick up. <laughs> I mean, it's a fairly, it's fairly large. <laughs> he really wants pepper. Girl, you best take off those hills and run. <laughs> I was thinking not the most practical attire for her situation. No. I mean, that's just unnecessary. He has a lot of pent up anger towards Tony. Yeah. Nothing's gonna stand in my way. Sounds pretty personal. <laughs> Impressive! I've made some upgrades of my own! <laughs> oh. Take me to maximum altitude. How'd you solve the icing problem? Icing problem. <laughs> Two percent. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Gotta get out of this thing. I'll be right there. Really? This status. The pulse is not mine. The sound of love. I like. I hate when a suit gets messed up, or like yeah. when, when stuff people's armor gets messed up. Well, bothers me. in this case, Tony would just make more as That's he true. as he does. He has many suits later. Very clever, Tony. <laughs> this looks important. <laughs> My targeting system. How does he feel like he's gonna get away with this at this point? <laughs> like the US Army even knows the situation's going on. Just do it! <laughs> Doesn't seem too good for him. Sound pretty toasty. <laughs> I think he is toasty. I think he's toast. <laughs> Crispy. Extra crispy. <laughs> His little heart's trying. <laughs> Hang on, man, that's kind of catchy. Is your alibi? You were on your yacht. Just stick to the official statement and soon this will all be behind you. I just wanted to say thank you very much for all of your help. You'll be hearing from us. From the strategic homeland and just call us shield. Only you never think about that at night. What night? You know. <laughs> the night you didn't kiss her, Tony? That she went for? <laughs> the night that we danced and you went downstairs to get me a drink and you left me there by myself. Ooh. Is that the night you're talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. And now Mr. Stark has prepared a statement. I'm just going to kind of drag that out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's been speculation that I was involved in the events that occurred. Do you honestly expect us to believe that that was a bodyguard in a suit? I, I know that it's confusing. How... Wild accusations or insinuate that I'm uh, a superhero. I so never said you were a superhero. Because that would be outlandish and uh, fantastic. <laughs> I'm just not the, the hero type. Yeah. The truth is, I am Iron Man. <laughs> Am I 
Yeah. If you're Mr. Stark, you become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know. Fury. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. And there it was. So that was Iron Man. Um, since I've already seen it, do you want me to let you start or do you want my thoughts? I want your thoughts first. Uh, I think, again, I've not watched this movie in probably at least 10 years or so. Uh, that movie, to me, is one of the better Marvel movies that we have. I still probably overall prefer, personally, Captain America Winter Soldier as a movie, but that one was, that one's, like, right there with it. Like, uh, I wish Marvel would almost go back and revisit that movie and with future movies because this movie there's a lot of humor because robert downey jr is funny yeah uh, and does comedy very well i think you see that in things like tropic thunder and pretty much anything he's in um but it they don't what modern modern marvel often undercuts any emotional scene by adding dumb yeah, humor that doesn't true. really fit and this movie had good humor but it, they allowed say like with that guy some genuine emotion yeah and yeah. and the movie just felt besides the end scene obviously where you have two iron men it felt much more grounded which i i appreciate as say like i love the nolan batman trilogy so i really enjoy a more grounded superhero movie even though obviously there's gonna be some stuff that's literally not grounded in <laughs> iron man but so I was but it, it overall is it's not as high fantasy it, it is right. a little more they made it a little more realistic so i like what well, john because Favreau he did. is just he is like a regular man yeah. in a lot of ways. So it's, he's a little different in that way. Yes. And it's almost nice to get a stripped down. I mean, because that was at the beginning, a stripped down superhero movie where there's not like it. Today, it feels like how much bigger can we make things? Like sometimes it doesn't have to be. Can it's be true. Can yeah. be more stripped down and just be Iron Man versus someone else. But that, that's my thoughts. I think it's still one of the best MCU movies they've, they've ever made. I think it was entertaining. Definitely. I'm not like it. I think you all know I'm not the biggest uh, like superhero movie person, but I do like Iron Man and I thought Iron Man was fun. I thought it was, I mean, it kept my interest, you know, so that's yeah, saying something. That is. Okay. So we'll rate this movie uh, on a scale of five hoots, five being maximum level. Well, I'm also going to rank it in a way, uh, well, I put it up there in the Marvel. I'm going to give this four hoots, four out of five hoots. Uh, no, it's a shell that is literally... It's it's a very when solid for it. a comic book for comic book movies because that's what you're kind of comparing it with. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a it's a very solid, fun, uh, well done comic book movie. So I give it four out of five hoots. Same. That's that's really what I was going to give it. It's what yeah. I was already thinking. It was. It actually did make me. Now I'm like I want to watch the second one. See where this goes. <laughs> that's kind of made me feel. But I enjoyed it. But, you guys, let us know in the comments if you want us to watch uh, the second one. Yes. What are you guys' thoughts? Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on Iron Man? Is it your favorite Marvel movie? Is it up there in you your top it, five? I doubt do anyone. No Marvel fan hates this movie. Uh, so rate this movie. Uh, share Like, where is it in your rating? Uh, share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, give the video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a, a force, force of, of light. light. All right. Bye, bye guys.